here with Roddy Hart. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Enjoying you enjoying the festival so far? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, I've just arrived, so I haven't had time to check anything out. Oh, right. I was at a wedding yesterday. Oh, really? I've just come back from a wedding and I'm meeting all the boys here, so um, we're going to hook up and do a few things, check out a few bands, and then head to the stage about five to four or something like that. So who are you looking forward to seeing? I don't know why I'm plugging it, because no one else is going far <laughs> too late for anyone to get down. Um, I'm looking forward to see. Well, I've missed, I missed Primal Scream yeah. and um, a few of the other. And Sheik, I heard, were amazing yeah. yesterday. So um, tonight, I don't, I don't actually really know. Uh, Amy McDonald and my friend Tommy Riley's playing the acoustic stage, and uh, there's there's a, a whole bunch of bands that I'm, that we're going to check out. But that's the great thing about festivals; you can just sort of wander about these places yeah. and and check random bits of music out that you might not be exposed yeah. to normally. Yeah, so uh, how many people are in your band and what sort of uh, instruments are you used? Like what's the kind of style of music? Yeah, well we, there's seven of us now, we're like quite a big band. It started just with me in my bedroom writing songs and then it's grown to this seven piece band. Uh, we love a whole load of things, Like we, our original influences were things like Bob Dylan and the band and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and uh, Springsteen and all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's grown into things like The National and Arcade Fire and yeah. bands like that. That's the kind of contemporary bands that you might uh, associate with us. But um, yeah, we're just we're kind of very much our own thing now and uh, just a big travelling band of players. Yeah. So you write all your own music. Uh, is everyone involved in the songwriting process? And what does it mean for you guys to be able to write your own music? Um, no, I'm too much of a megalomaniac. It's all written <laughs> by me. Too much of a control freak. <laughs> I, I started writing the music when I was 21 or something like that and uh, so it's, I'm a few years older than that now unfortunately and uh, I've always just kind of been involved in the writing of the songs and then I bring them to the band and then we just they sort of flesh them out and put down their, their own parts and we sort of come together to to make the music that we make so we've just made an album we've been down in London and in parts of Glasgow too with a guy called Danton Supple uh, who's a producer from London and he's he's done an amazing job so that record's coming out in September so we can't wait to release that. Brilliant. So you're all from London or you're from different places and how did you all meet? Uh, we're all from Glasgow actually. Oh, right. So Yeah we're all Scottish, Scottish band uh, and that was the first time we ventured uh, south of the border <laughs> to make this record. We usually stay in our own territory but uh, yeah we just all met through various sort of connections and my originally my guitarist John and my piano player Jeff we were sort of pals from different bands years and years ago and then slowly but surely we've kind of added more and more people into the band and you know my, my drummer came in and then he knew the bass player and uh, the bass player knew the guitarist and before you know it you've got far too many people in your band too many people to pay yeah so how do you feel you've developed as an artist from sort of being a bit more solo before and through it and have you sort of fed off the other people and learned things from them yeah I mean like you, you can't help but do that like even just the the process of growing older means that you develop and you mature a bit as a songwriter and as a performer and uh, I got much more interested in the, the songwriting element of it and I wasn't as interested in practicing too much whereas all the guys in the band now have totally left me behind because they're amazing players and they could do stuff that I just couldn't even dream of doing but um, I must I don't know that's kind of the deal with us like they, they play it well and hopefully I write it moderately well yeah that's the idea anyway yeah so where do you uh, want to be in like a year's time and what have you got planned for the year ahead well we've got loads of uh, some more festivals and things like that um, edinburgh fringe festival and um, things later on in the year like loop in scotland and uh, we're, we're going we're playing this new venue in glasgow which is called the hydro mm -hmm. which is the, the big new kind of like the o2 arena kind of type venue in glasgow so we're we're doing that with uh, the glass vegas and the proclaimers and that's going to be amazing fun uh, but yeah apart from that we're just going to keep on keeping on and uh, like play as much as we can put the record out see if anybody likes it <coughs> and wants to buy it and even if they don't, we'll keep on making sure that uh, they get to hear it anyway. Yeah. So how does performing at music festivals compare to performing at festivals like The Fringe? Well, The Fringe is going to be an acoustic show, so it's going to be kind of different for us. Like, we, we've done the occasional acoustic thing where my drummer plays the cajon and uh, it's not like a full setup. And th those shows are lovely as well. It's a totally different type of audience. It's like a sit-down thing. People listen and it's very polite and reserved. And uh, Whereas you do these kind of shows and people are just up for a laugh at these, you know, it's, and just shouting out and screaming and drinking, occasionally throwing beer, and it just depends. So they're, they're two totally different beasts, but I wouldn't trade one for the other. I think yeah. they're both amazing 
parts of the live experience. Yeah. So where are you performing at the Fringe? We're performing at the Assembly, right, I think. Uh, so that's on the 11th of August, and uh, it's a nighttime show, so it's about half nine or something like that. Great. Well, thanks so much for coming and speaking to us. You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. Thank you. Okay, no worries. Cheers, Cheers guys. Thank you.